Hey guys, Wither D here. We're back for more Mystical Ninja starring Goemon and This place. Yeah, the Yamato. This place is defined simply as big, stupid, pointless, and boring as all fuck. There's no enemies here, and you're just gonna be doing this. Let's show you the sites that might matter. Site number one. It's a big castle. Oh my god, it's an opening to a forest! Oh, that thing down there won't be important at all. And wow, another forest, my goodness. However, you do want to go in this particular forest, because this is Yamato's most interesting thing ever. You want to know what it is? You're probably thinking, oh my god, it better be like a boss fight. No, it's not even that. It's Turtle Stones! Yeah, they better be armed with, like, pizza, ninjas. Yeah, you know. So let's push this thing to the... Oh, what the f... What... The hell? Okay, so this is the thing about turtle stones. Apparently, the turtle stones have the magical ability to just send you off to a place wherever it wants you to go. And there's no crap given about it. You might also want to consider getting that freaking fortune doll down there, because... Eh, you might want to... Wait, though. The thing is, is that you could tr possibly try to get it from dumb luck of jumping and making it down there, but you're probably gonna break 20 li- S Excuse me. As I was saying before, you'll probably break about 20 legs getting to that particular spot, and you're better off just coming back here when you have more characters and more abilities to abuse. However, you do want to climb up to the top because of this thing, and you're probably wondering, what the hell is this sparkly goodness? It's apparently a surprise pack. Think fruit snacks with an extra life in it, because that's all you really technically can come in here for, but you can wait and probably waste less time in backtracking by coming in here when you have, a, you have the ability to get both of those things, and I won't tell you exactly which, because I'm a nice guy like that. I'd like you to maybe ponder Hmm, what ability could possibly work here? You'll probably come back here late in the game, I'll tell you that much. And yes, this is the most lamest part about Yamato. Coming back here, or coming back from where you went to, and doing this backtracking. And no, I'm not going to show this to you guys ever again, because you need to just get the idea. If you're ever wondering what actually happens when you push the stone a certain way, look at the signs. Reading's good for you. Let's see what this does. Oh. Whoa, frickin' jackpot, yeah! I wish frickin' slot machines were like this all the damn time. Just do one simple- Oh no, I'm not reading signs. Not now. I Reading's good, but when there's money falling from the sky, hell no. You pick up the money and run, damn it. Alright, so that's definitely a good reason why to come here, because you'll be granted frickin' tourist money. It's like all the people that got conned into thinking, Oh, you're supposed to throw the rock in the pond? No, you're- are you supposed to throw money in the pot? No, you're supposed to frickin' push the stone, damn it. Alright, so, hold on while I do this pointless backtracking. And this is what happens when you push it this way. Oh, what the... Oh my god, it's a frickin' fortune doll I don't need! Damn, that's awesome! And last but not least, pushing it this way. Let's see what this does. I smell something good. The f Wait, this isn't your motto anymore. Yes! Paid for no paid vacation, yes! However, you're getting so now slow down, what the hell. So yeah, we're now at a tourist attraction, and this is the only way to get to it. You could possibly swim to that pr particular spot, but this is a lot easier. And where the hell are we, game? Wow, the husband and wife rocks. That's kind of cute. I, I just won't have to wonder who's the husband and who's the wife. Because definitely I'm seeing a leash from the hu the husband or to the wife or vice versa. I just can't understand what the hell that rope is exactly for. Except they duly wedded themselves by rope and handkerchief. I don't know. However, I will say that this rock is pretty awesome and thank you for that sudden clip there, game. Alright, this is the reason why you want to come up here. Fortune doll. Something that I don't need at one damn bit. 
All right, so now that we, now the nice thing about this really is that you get to take a nice shortcut, which skips a little path that you might want to, to take or not, depending on how interested you are in walking and killing things along the way. And we got this place. It's probably another coffee shop. Sweet. Sup, man? What's up with you? Okay. Mm-hmm. What's wa wrong? Wow, why are they turtles? Dude, haven't you heard the tortoise and the hare? Tortoise won by a fucking mile, dude. Get with the program. Oh, really? Um, that's weird. Oh, get it? No, I don't get it, lady. In fact, I'm really worried about your other jokes. Jesus. Okay, yeah, you better be relieved. Alright, of course you got Grandma that's gonna always give you those stamina dumplings. Too bad I don't really need them. So, gonna have to say no. Alright, so let's see. The other interesting thing you can do... Wow, another surprise pack? And I never knew about that! Wow, that's pretty depressing that I missed that for all that time. Damn it, game. How dare you embarrass myself? Why, I don't know. Game sneaky like that. However, do not miss out on the nice fortune doll down on that cliff. If you do, well, it won't be really matter unless you're going for 100% completion. Then in that case, you'll probably be screaming your head off. And here is the reason why we are here. Because this is actually how we're going to progress the plot some more. BAM! And... Ooh, wow, what's up, lady? Okay, so we got the branch. Oh, sweet. Like frickin' Dragon Ball Z style? Oh, you don't have the seven, but damn it! He can't. Wow, so how does a dragon suddenly go wild and cannot carry you? Did he get some booze into his system and start to think, yeah, every day is Mardi Gras? Okay. Alright, we'll do that. And now, instant transmission! Go! Whoa. Okay, that... Why don't we just use that thing if we can instantly transport from one location to the other? The, I don't understand that. But now we are on this part. And if you like walking, guys, expect more walking. With the case of uh, vertigo along the way. Because you're going to have to deal with some various enemies from above and nothing from below. Like these freaking flying coconut bowling ball-like things. I do not know what the hell... It, but you fucking dick. I'm gonna have to kill you later. Whoa. And this is probably the most dangerous section we can that the game can offer for a little bit, because these flying enemies can be quite a pain in the ass. I would just suggest jumping and attacking, and the fact that the dragon likes to frickin' swerve. He is definitely drunk. Sup, what's up? What the hell is that thing? Get the hell out of my way, this is not a party. No. Goemon, you should know, it's a... top. Um... Okay, what's up? Oh, testing. Te okay, so the guy has a microphone. Oh, great, he's gonna kill me with bad elevator shit. <laughs> okay, what's up? We didn't take a guess. Wow, so this guy's just spoiling his plan, and apparently these people are kidnapping kids with dancing. Why? What is the point of that? And yes, if you thought Baron was an okay name, Colin is so not, and Colin thinks he's intelligent too. Well, he kind of spoiled the plan. Yes, going on. Haven't you been listening? This guy is obviously a Peach Mountain guy. He has O N in it. Um, easy. There was a ninja chick. She told us everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, we are those annoying not clowns. Be tomorrow, what he said was true about you. Oh god, he's gonna beat us all up, just like Garland would knock us all down. So yes, this guy is the next boss, and he's pretty pathetic. Just stay away while he spits out all his little blue or gray balls of madness. Come in and beat the shit out of him, and then repeat. Yes, it is that stunning of a strategy. However, the dragon will start to swerve a little bit more than before, just to make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit harder. However, it's not going to increase the difficulty that much, especially if you sit in one place. Like, right around here is good, because this guy is not going to... Oh, you dick! What the hell just happened? Wow, this is what happens when you fall off the dragon? 
Thank you, game. I'm glad that you glitched me off the back of Dragon. Hold on while I have to redo this whole fucking section. You are fun like that. Seriously, what the fuck were you... Dick! I'm telling you guys, this game some... Great, am I gonna actually die from all this freaking abuse? I wonder if I have to talk to Colin again. No, I'm not falling off. Yeah, I came again to get my ass kicked, even though that never happened. You just got really lucky, you're a little drunk dragon, and just threw me the hell off, dude. Come on, buddy. Mm. No, it would probably be helpful if I just sit in one place and throw stuff at him, you know. That might be a little bit more practical way of killing a boss. Except that it's really hard to aim from a distance, damn it. Okay, then, chain pipe might do that just fine, too. Seriously, this guy needs to have, like, a frickin' laser beam or something, or actually move around. P staying in one spot as a top is pretty pointless. I mean, I swear, dreidels are, like, all over the damn place, and they're fun. It's like rolling a die without having one. Okay, come on, guy, come on. Though I do not know any of the symbols on a dreidel at all. It's like, what... I mean, I don't know what games are played with it. You guys have any ideas? Just just let me know about it. Okay, so this guy's just about done. Ooh, the music's starting to kick up, too. Mm, get the fuck off the dragon. No tops today. Join Top Man in Hell. Okay, so dragon now is dead. Good job, Goemon. Way to slay an innocent dragon for your frickin' amusement. Oh, so we're now in Sanuki. Okay, cool. Oh, whoa, 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 what the hell? Is that a beat tomorrow? No, that is not a beat tomorrow, even though I would not mind too much if it was. Wow, kid, you fell face first, exploded, and you're still fine and dandy. No scuffs or anything. What the hell are you? I don't know, you tell me. You've just woken up from a concussion. Yes, Goemon, it might... Wait, what? That dragon? Wait, what the... Okay, so apparently the kid's a dragon, and the dragon's... What the... How does this work? How does this work as much as my headset falling off my head, but... More importantly, apparently Dragon, or Koryuta, is apparently one and the same. Oh, he's the son of the Dragon God. No wonder he can transform like nobody's business. Yes! It's horrible, kid! Yep, you were the kid, one kidnapping all the kids, you're a freaking horrible beast. Um, maybe? Okay. Uh-huh. You can shut up now. You can shut up now. Seriously, tell him, Goemon. He is just going insane. Uh, he could have maybe unhypnotized himself? I don't know. Oh, boy. Don't you, kid, stop beating yourself up, dude. Yeah, where are all the children? Where the hell did you take him? them, hmm? Oh, wait. <gasps> Oh my god, that means you know! Okay, the hot... What? The hot springs. Okay. Why the hell do you need to take kids to it Or dancing kids to a hot spring? What? Yeah, the Dogo hot springs. It's a popular... Wait, it, well I can imagine it is, because you know anime. You always gotta have a hot spring episode, so... We gotta now have a hot spring... Location. Okay, that's kinda cool. I wonder how that's gonna go. Of course you will, Goemon. You're the main character of the game. Yes, Koryuta. We're gonna do the work for you, even though you did all the work stealing the kids. Take what? You gonna give us, like... Are you gonna give us the Dragon Claw? That'd be... The hell is this? A flute? Okay, this better be good, kid. Uh-huh. 
Oh, okay, that's good. I like that. So basically, we now have an air transport ride. Thank God. That means walking around will not be annoying as hell. In fact, we can just... Just freaking fly wherever we want. And apparently, Ye knows how to play the flute. Even better. No. Thank you, Goemon. You are the number one representative of everything cool. Because you're a beat tomorrow, get the fuck out. So Ye now knows how to play the flute and is a tenor or an alto in choir. That is amazing. And we're just about out of time with this video. Holy crap. All that screwing up and walking around and damn. I just feel like I'm a million bucks right now. Oh, so I have to be outside. Okay, that makes sense. See you later, kid. And he wrote, goes Mach 5. And instantly transforms into a dragon. And God, Goemon, you do not look ready for the stairs. So next time, guys, we should go the other way, because... We got a town, and apparently it's down the dumps from the music. Sup, lady? Uh-huh. Folk dancing. Hmm, I'm pretty sure this got struck really hard by the dragon. In his hypnotized self. And please? Yeah, maybe some food would be nice, but N. So, next time, guys, while I try to find this damn end, we will explore this town and also explore the Kampira, or, or Kampira Mountain. And I'm pretty sure I butchered that to hell and back. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day and adios.